So if you see the holes, how nicely it's curved here on the bottom, that is exactly what we want. Don't pull it up like this, because it's too, if it is too steep, it will break in about two or three weeks again. Hi there, it's Franz Peters from Lotus Holland with another tech tip for you. This time about replacing your back hose and installing it correctly. It's a bummer, it's a wear and tear part, your hose broke, now you need to install a new one. Uh, this is how you do it. Uh, for time's sakes, I already hooked it up on the nozzle plate and I'm gonna show you how to correctly install it inside the machine. So what you do is you twist it back here until you have this curve and then you attach it here on the top to this adapter. Make sure that you have Teflon tape on that adapter. Attach it loosely, don't tighten it yet. So the next step is to make sure that the, the hose is aligned nicely against the back wall. So there is a plate behind this aluminum stud here. Make sure that the hose is behind it. And with your key, make sure that it's all nice against the wall, back wall. See? See how nicely it now is parallel to the back wall? So the next step is to put the block all the way down to the bottom. So behind this track, there is a metal plate that holds the holes in position. On the top of that plate is a small hole where you can apply a zip tie. So fix the hose, fix the hose to that plate with the zip tie, but don't tighten it yet, like this. So now we're gonna move here to the top. So on the top here are three holes where you can attach the hose with a zip tie as well. Fix them, but don't tighten them yet. Let them hang loose like this. Okay, so now comes a really important part. That is the shape of the hose. So if you see the hose, how nicely it's curved here on the bottom, that is exactly what we want. Don't pull it up like this, because it's too, if it is too steep, it will break in about two or three weeks again. So make it in a nice, smooth curve like this, and then you can tighten this first zip tie here. Now double check that the hose is moving up and down nicely against the back wall, just manually like this. If that is not the case, cut the zip tie and start over by adjusting the nut on the hose. Now you can continue and tighten these zip ties. Don't make them too tight, it's not necessary. Just zip tie one and zip tie two up here and leave the third one still loose. Okay, now you can hold this hose like this in its position and now with your wrench you can close that hose, tighten it to the adapter. So now you can tighten that last zip tie and this one you can tighten all the way. It doesn't matter that there's a sharp curve here because this part isn't moving. On the bottom it's important because it's moving but here it's not moving. And I finally cut off the ends of the zip ties. And you're all done. Thank you for watching this tech tip. If you need other tips, just make sure that you check out our channels on the internet where you can find all the information that you need.